What is up guys? It is your boy Hummy Head VTech and we're here with the K20 swapped EF. Um, basically we ran into some issues, fitment issues as you guys saw in the last video with the exhaust manifold. The header was contacting the subframe and we tried to move it around. We tried to like make it work but it was just it was touching and you know with the with it being that close even if we got even a little bit of space you know with the engine moving back and forth driving it's going to end up touching and damaging the header so what we decided to do was we i got the header right here this is the flange this is the flange that normally mats to the head we cut this off and we're gonna shorten the runners We're gonna shorten the runners, the space between, you know, pretty much gonna cut it off and uh, we should make it work because I think these headers honestly were probably from an EG or DC. Uh, there was not a lot of room back there with the clearance of the EF uh, subframe. So we got these used. We were told that this, this was in a CRX. Um, we can't verify that, but we're gonna modify it to our liking because here at BMP, we can do that. We can cut stuff up, we can weld it, we can chop it up and make it work. And we'd rather make it work to our liking. So that's gonna be the plan for this exhaust manifold. Now what do you gotta do? How far you gotta grind them? Oh. Oh, I understand. This top is too far back. These tops are pretty good, almost in the same spot. But this one's slightly farther up. Do uh, do like this. Whatever you feel your eyeball thinks, we'll try it first. Clean it first, and then we'll go and test fit and see. Clearance look good too. About half inch. I mean, I can pull one and go, right? Yeah. So I'll leave this jacks in under here. Yeah. Turbo time, Juni? Tur turbo, Juni, turbo. Turbo time! What the fuck is that thing? Long. Who dropped the deuce in the box? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Turbo? Ooh. Oh my god. That's a big man. Purple time. Dude, we get an elbow too for each. We can just go right here and look at all Sideways, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. So two elbows. So. Can't move it. Let me tack it a little better. Oh yeah. Oh! 
Oh! I ground it out. <laughs> ground it out to you? I felt my stomach. Oh my god. I felt it. I felt it. It said tingle. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, it tingled on me. <laughs> Glow gang. Customer decided to put an EK chassis harness in an EF. Well, this is how we got the show. We got two uh, hazard buttons. See one? Alright, well, two. Up, K2 immobilizer bypass. Using stock computer. RSX type S. Thank you, K2, for giving instructions with your stuff. PRB. PRB, okay. see you. Yeah. Yeah, tapped in. We're just trying to see. Make sure we got some. We didn't show you guys how to do this because it's very easy. If you can't figure out how to do this, you should not be doing your own um, swaps. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Wow. So we got the- uh, How they got the ignition hooked up? Uh, you need to put in the password. I don't know how they got the ignition hooked up here. EK to EF. EK to EF conversion. Back, step down harness, back up to another harness. What a mess. Clutch down. Is there a clutch safety switch wired into this thing or no? Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, did you turn it on yet, Harvard? Yeah, turn it on. Alright, Oh. The cranks, you want to try some spire rules in there? Let me know. I'll take one. Okay. Harvard, is it still on? It's yeah, still on. Good. Go. The cranks. Are you ready? Try to crank it. You good? You want to crank. Ah. Let's just make sure it's getting spark at least. Just pull one of those off. I need to get the main relay in there. Attempt number 1,184. Yeah, 
bang on that starter. Very, very goosey. Just to show you guys that this has EK chassis wiring, we plugged in the OBD scanner and it's fucking working on an EF OBD zero Gato. No code. Oh, it's scanning. Well, no, it does the. There's no codes. It goes through. This is all the bullshit. It just says failed because it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's almost ready for inspection. Two more. We're ready. Yo, for it's got monitors. <laughs> what the hell? EF got monitors. <laughs> Oh shoot! Yeah, I've got monitors. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. We got a lot of progress done on the EF, the K20 EF. We're really happy it runs, it starts, and uh, we got that header welded up nice. We can finally connect the exhaust. We got to do a little bit of cleanup work in the interior with the wiring, but for for the most part, everything was working. We just wanted to, you know, initially get that first start up. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you can get my uploads as soon as I put them on YouTube. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we've got a lot of content planned for this year and I really appreciate you guys coming along with me and watching my videos. Thanks.